excited and proud to host such an important Makes You All Champions. You are all winners. Congratulations. once again to come into this special hall where the Nobel Peace Prize ceremony takes place here just in this very room. Society needs young, eager and brave mathematicians like you. I would encourage you to get involved in the challenges you see in your own country and worldwide. Remember what I told you when you say, every one of you can be champions of change. It is your decisions, it is your future. Once again, also thank you to the University of Oslo, to the, all the volunteers, and to all the students for making the 63rd International Mathematical Olympiad. I am all a great success. The only thing that I hope will change for next time is the participation of more girls. Because what you have experienced during these days is that girls are mathematicians and great mathematicians. So please give all the girls participating this year a great applause. it as follows, don't look up. Let me put it this way, please look up, look around you, engage and tell us what you see. Good luck with all the tasks ahead of you. Congratulations to you all. And with these words, I'm happy to give the floor to Rektor Sven Sterling, Rektor at the University of Oslo. Please give him an applause. We are approaching the medal ceremony. And then it's always a lot of people that should and deserve a special thank you. There are many people to thank. First and foremost, the city of Oslo, a city with a big heart. We have a fabulous mayor, Marianne de Boyge, and we are always welcome here in the city hall. Also, the Ministry of Education and Research, although not present here today. All the sponsors, of course, and the fabulous Maximum that has secured a very efficient and excellent uh, event. My colleagues at the University of Oslo, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, the people at the Department of Mathematics in particular, all volunteers. I'm really happy that you have participated from the University of Oslo, from other universities, it's been extremely important to have you. Without you, your energy and your smile, this would have been not possible, and it would not have been possible. So thank you for this been fun. I'm sure it has, both for and all the volunteers. And last but not last, we need, of course, all talented, hardworking ambassadors of maths, all the participants here. Thank you so much for making this event a great success. It's about you and <coughs> for the medal ceremony. Thank you very much. Some of them are the best in their country, so this is not to be underestimated. So, can we now celebrate the achievement of those who get an honourable mention, please?
finally, for Europe, Galia Sharafetinova. Member of the class of, of gold medalists, please, as uh, perfect scorers, please come up. That was a greeting to our Japanese friends, because the team representing the next host for IMO 2023, Japan, is now invited to the stage together with their chief executive, Japan. <laughs> and I think that a lot of people can look forward to an excellent event in Japan in the year. Visit and 
we will get some glimpses from Japan now, I think. Okay. So please, thank you. Let's see. Genjiko. Genjiko uses five different kinds of fragrant wood. There are five pieces of each kind for a total of 25 pieces. From these, five pieces are chosen at random and the player must guess the scents. The player smells the scents and, if they are the same, connects them with a line. There are 52 figures that are possible. The 16th figure from Genjiko is Sekiya. The logo for the 2023 International Mathematical Olympiad contains four of these, each meaning the number 16. 16 times 4 equals 64, indicating that it is the 64th time for these games. Oh, It can be accessed in 50 minutes from Haneda International Airport and 40 minutes from Narita International Airport. It's also close to Tokyo, 50 minutes from Shibuya and Harajuku, and also created numerous Japanese mathematical problems. Here's an example of one of those problems. There are seven blue circles, two yellow circles, one red circle, and one green one. If the diameter of a blue circle is 7, what's the diameter of a yellow one? Do you know the answer? In more modern times, mathematicians Kunihiko Kodaira, Heisuke Hironaka, and Shigefumi Mori were all awarded with the Fields Medal. In addition, Dr. Jin Akiyama, the first head of the Japanese delegation, and Ms. Sachiko Nakajima, the first woman to win a gold medal for Japan, are working to promote mathematics at the Math Experience Plaza in the Tokyo University of Science. The Math Experience Plaza allows both children and adults to experience mathematics through all five senses and connects the fun and depth of mathematics to the future of Japan. Lastly, here's a message from the Executive Committee Chairman, Professor Takahiko Fujita. Hello, everybody. I'm Takahiko Fujita, in charge of this Mathematical Olympiad Japan 20 to Spring. Welcome to Japan. Welcome to Mathematics. Please enjoy Japan and Mathematics. I'm sure you keep a good memory of this mathematical Olympiad Japan. I'm supposed to like to do very much. Uh, and let me now ask each of you to please stand up and thank Jeffrey, the president of the International Mathematical Olympiad with a huge